as a grower starts going behind this combine and looking at what's behind, what kind of grain loss you might have, most growers should realize that four kernels per square foot equals a bushel. Well, we need to save as many bushels as we possibly can. Early in the season, you don't have as much ear button or uh, header loss because the corn still got green cushion down. But as the season dries down, you know, when you got that dry ear corn hitting that steel deck plate, then you get some busting of the kernels popping out. And then if you stop your combine and start looking, you can notice some significant year loss. We run John Deere combines. We have a 608 folding header this year, and you know, it was a new one. In the past, we were running 608s before. When we start shelling corn, you know, we're trying to focus on getting a good, clean s sample, grain sample, because you know, we're not in the business to store fodder. We're trying to store grain so we can feed the livestock and you know, make some ethanol later on. So um, we try to set the combines to where we have good, clean sample. Then we also, when we notice we get some header loss, then we'll try to do some adjustments, you know, tightening the deck plates, slow the snapping rollers down, try to get some more fodder in there just to minimize that. Well, when you start tweaking with those things, then you start losing the performance of what the header is trying to do. So, you know, we can do all we can, but then, then we realized that there was some equipment out there to help minimize the grain loss, you know, the yield savers. We, put those on a new head this year and boy we saw we did some plots at the beginning of the season where we were running the new 608 fold and C header with, compared to we still had the old 608 header and we ran them and we noticed some significant savings there where we didn't see any grain loss from the header with the grain the yield savers on where we ran the old 608 C header you know, we were still seeing up to two to four bushels of loss on the ground there. That's significant when you start thinking about how many hundreds of bushels you're running, you know, throughout a year. As growers start looking at new technologies, you know, some things are kind of harder to quantify. Am I seeing a yield benefit? Well, when you look at the yield savers, these are just very tangible results. You have them with and without and you can see the kernels on the ground. So you go move the stalks away from the ground and you know, where you don't have yield savers, you maybe see one, two, five, 10, 15 kernels along the row. Well, where we were seeing the yield savers, we weren't seeing those kernels on the ground. So that is like, man, I know I'm doing something here. It's not something you do now and then you wait later. You know, that delayed gratification thought process. This is real, real time. You can just get out and see it. So yield savers for us is going to be a standard operating procedure. It's going to be on all our headers when we start shelling corn.